Hello Viri users, Alex here, your Viri guide, and today we're going to talk about one of the coolest topics for exterior lighting, and that is SIBL. SIBL stands for Smart Image Based Lighting. Why it is smart? Because it's got this uh, script that includes sun, environment, and also got nice transparent map if you do cars and stuff like that. So this method is most of the time used for uh, you know, bringing some cars, objects, or something that is more product design wise into life, into making realistic. So, if you go to HDR Labs, you'll be able to find a lot of free of those for download. And you can find any every uh, once in a while really cool examples that can match exterior lighting. So, you also can download here if you go to software. You can download SIBL Edit. You can go and shoot your HDRIs with a, a real DSLR full frame camera and edit them so you can use your own environment, a real environment of your construction area. This is more complicated topic that needs much more time to cover. Shooting HDRIs and creating HDRIs is uh, not an easy task. But if you get those HDRIs that already have the SIBL method, you can use the GUI, uh, the guide user interface, to view them and to export them into V-Ray. And today I'm going to show you how you can use those free uh, samples that we have on this site. And of course, we also have an HDRI hub website. We have a really nice uh, free package here that you can download and use for your exterior renders all right so let's get down to our business and first thing you need to download the sabl edit just in case you need to edit and see and view and do some color tone and mapping and change a little bit the colorization of those of those so you you probably will download the windows version and you need to download the sabl gui right here you can also watch the video of this brilliant guy, how he actually works with his HDRIs. Well, uh, and doing some, some tone mapping and little explanation of how you can export it into V-Ray. So we have here uh, V-Ray standard and V-Ray dome light, which I don't think I have in my version. But after downloading those, you'll be able to work with it. And of course, the loader script. I think it's the one that actually connects, so I've downloaded it, I placed it in my scripts folder. And uh, let's go check it out now, how we can view. This is the scene that we're going to use from uh, our previous tutorial. So after installing it, it will ask you, where is your SIBL folder? So uh, my, my SIBL folder also located uh, here, right here. And as you can see, I've downloaded the GUI and also I've downloaded the video to watch and all of those HDRIs uh, with the SIBL method located here. So each image got a preview, uh, got a, uh, this is the background plate. Can you, you can see it's not overexposed, it's perfect. And of course we got the 3K for the lighting and we got the environment. So both of those HDRI, so they will actually throw a lot of light. And we have the IBL file also, which got includes all the information for those. So let's launch our SIBL GUI. After launching it, it will ask you, where is your folder? So you need to say, here's my folder located, and then it will find it automatically. And we'll load all the HDRIs with the previews to that uh, to that software. All right, it's completely free, so no hustle here. And uh, I, I used to play with it. It gives me Maya V-Ray standard, different templates to use. I don't use Maya. Uh, I mean, I do, but not for this tutorial. So uh, here it is. We got this map. I got those cool HDRIs. As you can see here, we also have tropical, a lot of cool lighting. So for my example, I'm going to use this one, Harbor. No, I'm actually going to use the parking lot right here, the, the parking lot 2. You can find the same example 
on the of this parking lot I think here yep so you can see how you can use to light at the car and it's got nice reflections and everything and a nice try of lighting an exterior house now we're gonna see how we can work this uh, maybe a little bit better okay so let's go back to our house so here if I click render my scene doesn't have anything so it's basically going to produce um, you know no shadows everything going to be in black nothing much to see so let's go ahead and see how we can light this thing up as you can see I only have a little bit of my uh, landscape lighting just to indicate uh, what's going on to my fence here so let's go back to the GUI and uh, SIBL GUI and do select our image double click we can see all the location where it is all the information here we can view the background image it's the background the lighting image you can see it's blurry so it, it will throw really nice soft ambient light to it the reflection image very sharp and the view plates preview has no plate image type okay so we don't have those all right now we're gonna go to export and we're gonna click output loader script so we actually exported it now if we click here send to software you need to link your packages so it will automatically will send it and you do it through your um, through your SIBL script here you gotta put it in your max folder but we're gonna do it a manual way I call it a getaway because what I do here I open the folder where this uh, script was exported open output directory and I'm gonna go to my load run scripts I'm gonna load it this is uh, a different one from yesterday can see I have the SABL loader what I'm gonna do is just you know drag and drop from one folder to another click continue and click open all right now after I opened it I can see the whole thing was imported to my scene here and uh, if I just click render we can see that we can see that this image has actually got lighting and background and ambient light already implemented into the scene. The background is a little bit off and I'm going to show you how you can fix that. If we go to environment, we can find the environment map that was automatically created. So we need to open our material editor and drag and drop this scene right here okay so we can see that gamma correction was applied and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bring it back to one and you can see that it went a little bit lighter another thing that this SIBL did actually was adding some maps into our environment right here so if we go to our environment, we'll be able to find HDRIs for reflection, refraction, and all of those guys. So if we place those here in material editor slot, we can view the maps. What are those actually doing? So I kind of matched my background to match all of those for uh, lighting and reflections okay now the beautiful thing about it is let's find the folder as IBL right here and you can see that we have a new folder it was created as IBL data so we have the ground the feedback we have the lights so the light actually matching the Sun point we have the Sun and we have the target and um, if we select our feedback or actually our data 
file right here and we go into rotation we can rotate it and the sun and everything will rotate together with this map so let's find some cool uh, location here click render let's see how this guy renders Right, so we already can see that the sun changed its uh, position here and we're getting nice uh, backgrounds here but uh, it looks like our background is a little bit is a little bit dark so we can light it up to match our sun exposure let's do a small region here of a background and see how it works all right, so the render went pretty fast and uh, we can see definitely that we need to light up our background. So what I'm going to do is going to go to our background here and uh, light it up with like 300 and do another region. All right, the render is done and looks pretty good, pretty light up. And uh, I think it's a good time to go and render the whole image and see what it takes us all right so one important thing before we render this it is uh, very important to go in to save your images as override gamma 2.2 and in that case you don't really need to uh, correct your gamma all right so just leave it as it is uh, with the inverse gamma here at the background and increase your lightness here your lighting uh, multiplier the exposure by as much as you need in order to match your background to your image and when you're done you can go ahead and render it with the region switched off all right so i'm gonna click yes yeah now it looks much much better so let this uh, let's give this render a few minutes and let it run through all right so the render is done it took about 10 minutes to render uh, big quality if you do small small tests you can do it with less but uh, it all looks uh, looks pretty good I mean the Sun is a little bit sharp here we can soften it it's uh, it's a very Sun so if we go and select our SAVL here we can find the Sun and as you can see here the intensity is 0.34 it's already adjusted but the size is one so if we make the size a little bit bigger let's put it four for example the shadows would get much much softer here let's take a simple test right here and see how the shutters shadows getting softer all right so the value of 14 gave much but the value of 7 gave much uh, much better I guess it's because the Sun is really far away but the higher you go you can put about 10 or 12 and make much softer shadows okay overall it's uh, it's looking pretty decent I mean you get the Sun the environment and everything synchronized so just Take one thing, rotate it, and it all will follow. And if you want to use a different SIBL, what you got to do is probably go here, select a different one. Let's uh, select something more interesting for that uh, sake of idea. How about something like this, more casted, or we can get direct channel. We can get a... Uh, really sunset looking area but as you see here all of those they have platforms so they much more convenient for objects and less for buildings unless it's a it's an open area like this one okay so let's for example try the basketball or try the Grand Canyon here double click export output loader file the file was exported now we go back here 
and we run script and we open that folder drag and drop continue yes you don't really have to do it you can just say put all the files in that folder and override them but I like to keep the idea all right so the new map was loaded let me just move my render to a side and close all the panels here so you can see we got a different image and if we rotate it select the data we can rotate it and everything will follow all right so uh, you can take it now to Photoshop let's open Photoshop drag and drop this image do some color adjustments you can see it's a little bit washed out but I actually like having my images with uh, less contrast because it gives me much better working space if I want to add contrast it will be much easier than to remove it and you can see by simply adjusting the curves and the levels we can we can get the really nice tonality out of that image of course you can do that in uh, in 3ds max and v-ray so you will have really nice sharp image but i always as i said before i always have gotta have that um, working pixel depth so i do my images a little bit washed out so i can uh, apply different color balance and different effects and darken the image rather than uh, lighten it up all right so something like that okay cool stuff we get reflections if you rotate it a little bit more you can get uh, better reflections you can test it out uh, if you have any questions post them below this video and of course download this scene and make your tests and uh, soon we're gonna launch our exterior challenge so make sure to open the next upcoming emails with this cool information about exterior lighting right so thanks a lot for watching this is alex your viewer guide talk soon ciao